Mr. President, uh, I'd like to join our distinguished Mitch McConnell in seconding the comments about the uh, presentation that the senior senator from Tennessee made at the Howard Baker funeral. Um, you know, it's a great privilege for us to serve in this body. And while times are tough relative to our ability, our willingness uh, to solve some of the major problems, many of the major problems of our nation today, and sometimes there are comments made about uh, serving in the Senate. What I say to people back home is that if any of us ever forget what a privilege it is to serve, we should go home. And that privilege uh, allows us to meet people and to be in conversation with people like Howard Baker that affect us and cause us to be better people. They also allow us, Lamar, to, to witness uh, what took place uh, last week. I'll have to say that uh, I've seen you on many occasions say and do things that I thought were impressive. I don't think I've ever seen anything that uh, measures up to what was said in that small Presbyterian church last week. Uh, I think all of us were touched. I will say uh, that you had a lot of good material to work with and that you were describing a man that uh, probably has had more effect on in a positive way on Tennessee politics and in many ways national politics um, like Howard Baker. Um, he was an inspiration to all of us uh, when we were around him. His graciousness and humility uh, caused all of us, I think, to be much better, better people. His encouragement, uh, especially uh, when dealing with tough issues and encouragement, his calls, uh, I think caused all of us to want to strive even harder uh, to be better senators and better people. So I certainly uh, cannot give the comments uh, with eloquence that you gave last week and certainly the ones you just gave. I know that you and he were very, very close and he impacted you more than any person outside your immediate family. But he had an impact on all of us. He had an impact on this nation. And I'm just... Uh, feel it's a great privilege and honor to stand with you today to acknowledge his greatness as a person, his greatness as a senator. Uh, many times we see presentations as people talk about uh, someone's life, and a lot of times uh, that is embellished. I will say in this case, uh, none of it was. It was all about the man both serving here in the Senate, but also serving in that small church in Huntsville, Tennessee, that he was so loyal to. So I just want to thank you for the opportunity to serve with you. Uh, I, I know that each of us uh, strive to carry out those characteristics that Howard Baker uh, so wisely showed us. And I do agree with you that the United States Senate would be a much better place if all of us could embody those characteristics most of the time. So with that, Mr. President, I yield the floor to your senator for his leadership and for his comments. And I want to thank our distinguished minority leader during a time of great busyness in his own personal life uh, for taking the time to be a part of something that I think was meaningful to him also. I yield the floor. Mr. President. 